Hey guys, welcome to the clubhouse. I'm Billy Jackson, and today's review is gonna be on Megan. Okay, now when I first heard about this movie, I was not looking forward to it. I just gotta be honest with you. But I love horror movies altogether. I mean, it's one of my favorite genres. And Scary Dolls is another one of my favorite of that genre. Uh, Chucky, of course, is the greatest scary doll of all time. So I thought this was going to kind of be a ripoff of that, especially of the newest Child's Play that came out, which I really enjoyed. I know a lot of people hated on it, but I really liked it, especially Mark Hamill being the voice of Chucky. I thought it was great. But saw the previews for this, and I really didn't think it was going to be that good, you know, and then when I saw the reviews coming out for it, they were mixed, yeah, um, but more on the positive side. So, me and my buddy, Ricky, were chilling. We came across it, saw that it was streaming, so we had to hit the button, and we had to hit play. Was it worth the $20? Yes! Yes! I loved this movie. I mean, it's not the greatest horror film of all time. It's not even in the top 20. But it was really fun. And not only was it fun, but the whole time I was watching this movie, I kept on thinking of how this is a cautionary tale. Guys, if we're not careful, this is what we're in for, okay? Because I believe that this is how it will start. If there's ever... Uh, artificial intelligence, robotic uprising, this is how it would begin. You know, and this has been done multiple times in multiple different mediums. It's not a new story by any means, but I still had a great time watching it, and it made me actually really nervous about our future. I mean, because we've got all these robots now that are thinking on their own and doing stuff on their own, and eventually, maybe not in my lifetime, but eventually it's going to get to a point to where they're going to have a robot in a house somewhere. I'm just telling you, that's what I think. I think one day we're, there's going to be a robot sitting in somebody's house, maybe doing chores or like in this movie being like a, you know, a toy for a child, but can also be a friend to it. That's another thing I loved about this movie is that it took something that I believe is can actually happen and made me believe that this is what would happen if we do do, th do that. And, and it's not even just about, you know, a toy going crazy and AI taking over the world. It's nothing like that. They really hit on some very relevant psychological effects that this could have on a child or even, you know, anyone that has a robot being their friend and being emotionally connected to it, it'd be hard for them to disconnect from it. I thought that was really relevant to if we have a robot being a friend to a child, um, especially one that has lost her parents. You know, she's kind of disconnecting herself from friends and family, and, you know, she really feels alone. But she gets this friend, and, I mean, it's her best friend, and it's built to protect her. And it does. <laughs> and in some of the most gruesome ways. Now, this is a PG-13 movie. You know, it's not bloody or gory or graphic. I mean, there are some graphic scenes and some very good jump scares. And I, I heard that there's an unrated version coming out. And I cannot wait to watch it. It's supposed to be more blood and gore. But they really had to tone it down to make it PG-13 so they can open to a wider audience. I get it. I totally understand that. But I'm ready to see the rated R version of this. There's no great acting performances in this movie. Actually, some of the acting was really over the top. And I'm going to be honest with you, I usually give child actors benefit of the doubt. This girl did not do a great job. I'm sorry. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just call it like I see it. The, the child actress in this, I don't know if it's her fault or the direction, um, or the director, I should say. But... It, it wasn't a good performance. Hopefully, she'll get better with time. So, we'll, we'll just have to see. Um, some of the other performances I thought were really powerful, like the, the surrogate mother. 
I, I thought did a really excellent job on this. You know, she's the creator of Megan herself. And it's kind of an experiment putting Megan into her home to befriend, you know, the child. And chaos ensues. <laughs> and I, I just felt myself enjoying it. Even though the performances weren't that great, every time Megan was on screen, I was glued. I was locked in. I was ready to see what she was going to do next or what she was going to say next. Because some of the things she said... What made total sense, honestly. And it's really scary, man, because like I said, I think this is a cautionary tale. Everybody should watch this just to be warned that this could happen. So that being said, guys, this is a lot of fun. Now, was it worth the $20? I believe it is. I mean, you can wait in a couple of months. You know, it's going to be free. So honestly, you can wait. But if you really want to have a great time with a great horror film, I, I say, hey, pay for it and watch it because I had a great time. It's a short movie. It's fun. And I laughed. I was frightened. And it really made a lot of sense. <laughs> so that being said, I give Megan a great review. It was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it, even though it was over the top sometimes and some scenes I didn't really like. The dancing scene, I know it's a big meme, but really it's only five seconds long. And it was funny when it happened and it was it was kind of cool because um, whoever the actress is that, that played Megan, I think she did a brilliant job. And this whole movie is just so much fun. I can't say it enough. Guys, watch Megan. But it's not all about what I think. What do you think? Have you seen Megan? Do you plan on watching it? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And as always, make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember, the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!